the word of the Lord today is there's a lot of noise. There's a great noise, a lot of noise, a lot of noise, a lot of noise. But do you hear me? God is saying there is a lot of noise, a lot of noise, a lot of clanging, a lot of noise, a lot of sound, a lot of noise. But do you hear me? Do you hear me in all the noise? Do you hear me in all the proclamations? Do you hear me in all the miracles? Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Do not be distracted by all the noise. Do not be distracted by all the lights. Do not be distracted by the latest and the greatest that is being brought to you, that's being brought to the world. Can you hear me? In all the technology and all the things and the big screens and the flashing lights and the new revelations, can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice? Are you hearing me? You may hear all the noise in the world and you hear all that's going on. You hear all that's going on in the churches. You hear all that's going on in this world. But when you get by yourself, do you hear me? It boils down to an authentic relationship with me. It's going to boil down to an authentic relationship with me. What are you cultivating? What are you building? What is your fellowship with me like? Because that is going to be the key in helping you to discern what is noise and what is me. There are a lot of my people that's lost. They're following the noise. They're following the crowd. They're following things that shrouded in religion. They're following things that shrouded in prophetic words. They're following things that shrouded in this is holiness. But because they don't have a personal relationship with me, they can't discern to say this is of God and this is not. The devil the enemy will proclaim liberty to the captives. He's going to try to do everything that's a close, close copy. And if you're not hearing my voice, you're going to get sucked in. You're going to get deceived. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. What I hear God saying that is important today is that you have a relationship with him. Regardless of what is going on, it's not all the channels you're subscribed to. It's not how many uh, uh a gospel music you're listening to. It's not how many uh, Christian sermons you're listening to. God is saying, it is your relationship with me. You're listening to everybody else's, everybody else's ministry and everybody else's connection and people are doing my work. Some are actually people doing my work, but what are you doing? You're not created just to be a listener. God is saying, you are not created just to be a listener. You are not created just to be a bystander. I have not created one man or woman on this earth to just be there to sit and to listen to somebody else speak about me. You have a divine purpose. I hear the Lord saying, in all the noise, in all the noise, in all the noise, and everything that you're hearing, do you hear me? Do you have that still small voice in you? Do you have my beacon of light in you to show you what your purpose is? I'm willing and I want to do these things, but you're not making the time. You're following the light. You're following the crowd. You're following the groups. And then there's some of you, you're just afraid. These are the last days. I have a purpose for you. I have a purpose for you. Get into your prayer closets. Get in on your knees. Do the things that I've called you to do. Listen for my voice and you will be instructed without fail, without error on what you need to be doing in these last days. Listen for my voice. Listen for my voice. Do you know what is me and what is the world? Listen to my voice. 
Guys, I pray that this word will bless you. Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for this word. Father, cause the scales to fall off the, the eye, off the eyes of those who are blind. Father, take the stoppers, oh God, off the ears of those who are distracted by the world, by the things of the world, by the latest and greatest, Lord, even the latest and the greatest in religion, Lord Jesus, the latest and greatest in Christianity, Lord. But Lord, let us seek you in all things, Lord. Let us seek you, Lord, and know that everything else shall be added, Lord. Let us not try to add everything else and then seek you. Father, I thank you that this word is reaching those that you desire to reach. Father, that this word is going to the very ends of the earth, O oh God. Let the person, the people, the individuals that this is for, that it reaches them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, and prompts them and quickens them, Lord Jesus, that they will follow you and they will seek you out and they will build a relationship with you. Father, we give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Seek the Lord, guys. Seek him.